Good morning, or afternoon, depending upon where you're at. Um, I managed to grind through the morning and get the uh, G80S monitor version uh, 0.45T updated to 0.50 beta. And everything looks good. I'm getting ready to upload it onto my website now. And I just wanted to give you guys a video as far as the differences between 4.5T and this. There's not really a lot. The major differences is that I needed to update a few things in Tiny Basic and I needed to add a few things to the monitor itself. Uh, again, this is a, a prototype version that's eventually going to evolve into a disk operating system that should be able to uh, load uh, programs for, uh, well, in binary or uh, executables, as well as load things to and from Tiny Basic. So, Tiny Basic is going to probably get a um, another upgrade at least within the uh, GDOS platform. I'm not sure how uh, practical it is to do that on uh, the actual Tiny Basic uh, 2.5G software itself because each computer is going to be different. I don't know what your file handling capabilities are. I don't know what type of routines exist. So having said that, limiting that to this one computer is going to be the uh, main goal. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the system here. And as you can see, it's uh, GDOS prototype version 0 0.50 beta. We also have the help function there, so we're going to type help. And one of the things that you immediately notice is obviously Tiny Basic has been updated to 2.5G, as well as we have this information here outlining the ports. Now, the reason why this is important is because on the G80S computer, there are two peripherals you have both the SIO zero or the dart depending upon which chip you actually used as well as a 8255 PIO with um, uh, GPIO pins. So having said that if you want to use anything in either in basic or in the monitor itself that's going to utilize that hardware it's important to know what the address of that hardware is because you're going to have to issue certain uh, commands to the command registers and you're going to want to be able to read from certain ports. Now, I'm not going to go in depth in the software as far as which port is which. You need to read the data sheet. If you don't understand the data sheet, you probably shouldn't be dicking with it to begin with. However, it is one of those things that you need to know the address locations. I have a lot of people ask me that, so now it's in the software. Okay? So, um, we're going to jump into basic. And as you can see, it is uh, version 2.5G. The help menu is there. And of course, it gives you the same information as the other version did as well. Uh, I'm not going to waste time um, doing any um, programs or anything like that. You can see the tiny basic video for that. We'll quit back out to the monitor. The only other um, thing that I've really done with this is there are a few hidden commands. Uh, there is a, uh, for example, in basic itself, there is a uh, prototype for a call command. Um, it's not functioning. It's crashing the system every time I use it. Having said that, the goal is to eventually get Tiny Basic to where it can also um, run machine code. Now, that will be added to uh, the uh, standalone version of Tiny Basic, but that's for a video in the future. It's something I'm still working on. Um, it doesn't like to play nice with Tiny Basic itself, so. It uh, corrupts registers and things like that. Um, so I'm having to play around with the, uh, I guess you can say the algorithm of actually getting it done. So, But this is going to go up on the website uh, this morning. I am getting ready to upload it now. Uh, of course, it will come with both the um, uh, assembly listing. Well, not the assembly listing, but um, the actual assembly code. The... Um, binary as well as a change log and it'll also come with the uh, necessary um, hard or well software to view that code and to make changes to it so if you want to add any features to it feel free if anybody finds any bugs I do ask that you contact me over at the website on the contact us page I'm also going to be setting up a page in the near future for downloads and I'm going to keep a um, you know running list of previous versions of the software that I had available 
Now, we're getting to the point where we've actually got quite a few people out there in the world who have the G80S computer. At last count, I think I had about uh, 40 different people that had actually purchased boards from me, and uh, I believe most of them have actually had a chance to build the boards. Um, some of them have actually even purchased more than one board. Um, I know that there's at least uh, three people off the top of my head that had bought two to three boards a piece. So there are the potential for even more people out there to have this. I had a guy the other day tell me that he in fact does have my version of Tiny Basic running on his uh, own Z80 computer and that he was anticipating the release of 2.5G because he wanted to convert that over to his computer as well because of the additional features. And um, I've already been having conversations with him. He's a real nice chap. Um, but again the project's not done this isn't the end like I said I still have a lot to do with file handling and um, getting some things together on that so again at the end of the day um, we got a lot of work to do I'm gonna try to make these updates as often as possible I'm actually in the pr process of prototyping out the hardware for the um, SD card as seen on the uh, prototyping shield and then um, once I actually get that sorted out and I get it working, we will uh, start writing some routines for the file uh, system. Um, but if you have any questions, like I said, uh, hit me up on the website, drop a comment below. I'll respond as I get time and you guys enjoy what's left of the weekend, okay?